Okay, so I got this thing at a uh, garage sale thing from the animal shelter here in Fairbanks a couple days ago, and we just threw the stuff through the wash and basically disinfecting the stuff, but <laughs> watch this. The static from these things is hilarious. Like, it's just reaching up to stick to me. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it as much as it was earlier. Listen to it popping, though. Jeez, I'm almost afraid to be holding the camera. I'm going to get an electrostatic discharge into it. Oh, now my fingers are repelling them. <laughs> How's that for interesting? <laughs> Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> okay, these... Nope, now I'm repelling them again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm easily entertained. You'll have to give me a break on this one. <laughs> It is hilarious. Ow! Freaking shocked the crap out of me. <laughs> Gotta ground myself out on that one. I do, I do like one of my but we're Maybe it's a little ironic that the first you'd see of my new purchase <laughs> would be up in the air with a mechanic working on it. Since up here I don't have the tools I need to do the work myself. see it from here. Is that it? Um, yes, it is. Okay. That is the steering gearbox assembly that just had the new one installed by this guy. Since the old one was leaking fluid so bad, I'd fill it, it'd dump it, and I ended up filling it again before I could go anywhere with the truck. But yeah, once it gets out of here, I'd tell you a little more about it. <laughs> it's a glare and this place is incredibly terrible with this window. She's not much of a looker but she runs well. Going down. <laughs> this glare is terrible. <laughs> well, that's a good way to start off the video. <clears throat> So I thought I had stumbled on a treasure trove of cranberries with my friend up at the UAF campus. Well, that was nothing. <laughs> I've been out here about 20 minutes now, uh, Birch Hill, still in Fairbanks, and boom, just freaking all up in here. Like, I didn't even get most, I, I got most of them, but like, they're still here, they're all up in there because I didn't climb up in there, all over here. We got these other berries too, but I'm just into the cranberries personally. <laughs> they're all over the place. It's like, this is berry heaven right here. <laughs> it's a little cool out, so. <laughs> oh, right, up here. Is actually one of the Birch Hill trails just exits out onto uh, this road that heads up to the Birch Hill Cemetery and like I, I walked I rode my bike my bike way over there maybe maybe you can't 
I can't on the viewfinder. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up about that now. Anyway, I was up over here and I looked into bushes. I'm like, I see cranberries. <laughs> Maybe I backed up a little bit because I don't see them as much now. Of course, there's also a lot less light than there was when I saw them. But anyway, yeah. There, there. They're all over the place. Freaking awesome. I'm gonna have me a field day with these things. <clears throat> and that's it for now. <laughs> I'll update when I finish these up. I am probably going to end up using more than one of these little containers because I bought a six pack over at Walmart just like 45 minutes. I don't even know how long it's been really truthfully, but it's been a while. And uh, I bought a six pack of these little containers. So <laughs> we'll see how many of these things I can fill up, huh? All right. So I may have mentioned I bought a new truck. <laughs> well, let's just say it's not exactly new by any means, but it's amazing how much more I want to talk about it when it's clean. <laughs> uh, like I said before, she's not a looker by any means, but she's a good driver. She drives real nice. And it's something I've always wanted. I've always wanted a standard transmission and now I've got it. And it's so much fun to drive this thing. There she is. The busted up passenger side. <laughs> Damn, it's so much nicer when it's clean. I love it. Mmm. And like inside the bed, I had it sprayed out. So now it's clean-ish. <laughs> it's not scrubbed by any means, but it'll do. Yeah, the driver's side actually doesn't look all that bad except around that back corner there. Uh, <laughs> I need to get uh, another lug nut for this side, another one for the uh, passenger rear. Front end looks okay, a little cracked up and dinged up and falling apart. <laughs> and it's got the uh, 4.3 liter engine in it with the standard transmission. I mentioned that already. And, uh, there you go. Itty bitty engine under a gigantic hood. <laughs> Brand new battery. The whole front end basically has been replaced. Steering tie rods. Uh, the steering gearbox, which uh, that's what it was in the shop for. And uh, the power steering pump actually was just replaced. And uh, tie rods, ball joints, and some other steering stuff. But yeah, other than that, she's had all new shocks put in, I think about a couple thousand miles ago, I think he said. He owned the truck for two years before I bought it, so before that, who knows what happened. But this window obviously shattered out of it once upon a time, because like the bed was full of glass that hadn't been cleaned out. And yeah, I'm going to have to get in here and probably pressure wash the crap out of it, but... She'll do. <laughs> oh, I left my bike at the car wash. Ish. <laughs> Go me. Say what? Say what? No, no, I'm good. Do I need a jump? No, I'm good. All right. So anyway, that's the Alaska range way the heck out there. It doesn't look like it's way the heck out there, but it is. Pretty. <laughs> I'm up at the UAF campus, actually at the uh, campus buildings, instead of uh, on the trails by the campus, which is off that direction. And yeah, just thought it'd be a good place to take the truck. <laughs> Unfortunately, my drive vlogs, unless I grab my little tripod here and find some place to put it, because there's no handles inside. Unless I find some place, you won't get to actually uh, watch me drive this thing. But yeah, it's, like I said, it's a little torn up. It's a beater, okay? It's a good heater. It's not a damn good heater in it, actually. But uh, yeah, the seats are in kinda, they're kinda nasty, actually. And <laughs> like, a lot of the older Silverados actually have this problem, like the hinges are broken, but. <clears throat> 
I'm getting rid of that radio and putting in the stock radio for this model. Get rid, get rid of that because I keep having to reach way the heck over here behind this shifter for the volume control. It's just a pain in the butt. And the CD player doesn't work anyway. So what's the point, right? Anyway, yeah, I might just hang my camera up on that handle over there and you can watch me drive. <laughs> I don't know how well that'll work out, but we'll give it a shot. First, I need to switch batteries because this one's flashing at me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take off and you can enjoy whatever happens next. <clears throat> there we go. Please note that by no means am I a professional standard driver yet. This is my first truck ever having standard in and like driving on a regular basis. So I'm still kind of getting used to it. I just bought it on the 9th and today is the 12th. So it's like it's, so, it's, only, it's only my third day driving it. Yes, I have no key in it, but it does require the key to turn. <laughs> just for the record, it's not completely. It's just the key falls out as it will. So anyway, let's get going, shall we? Oh, she has no muffler either, so if you uh, note some excessive noise, that's why. <laughs> yeah. And generally, I don't get off that jerky of a start either, so I don't know where that came from. <laughs> it's because I'm taking video, you know? I'm going to be a crappy driver because I'm taking video and paying attention to it instead of my driving. I've kind of reached the point though where I don't stall anymore. <laughs> Your foot, you're pointing the wrong direction to see anything outside though. Okay, it is 20 through here and I'm going way too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm up to lately. That's what I did. Maybe I'm a little crazy, but I've decided that even though I do have to go back down to Texas to move my truck out of uh, my friend's driveway down there, which I'm realizing I never showed at any point after or before I left where it's sitting right now. But yeah, it's sitting in his driveway and I have to go back down there to move it, but I'm coming back up. My parents, uh, the last video I did before I left was the uh, caught up and I showed in there that was our realtor on my bed there uh, going over the housing contract and we are set to close on this house on the 28th of September which is uh, 16 days from now yeah that's right and there are a couple things going on right now that may put a little bit of a wrench in this but if all goes well, I'll be flying down sometime around the closing date. I'm not sure exactly when yet, but at any rate, I'll be going down, picking up a heck of a lot of my winter gear from the shipment that's coming down from Anchorage. And, and from there, I'll be coming back up. Still kind of getting used to like shifting and <laughs> paying attention to that and i still i still forget to turn my headlights on and stuff 
take my blinkers and all that stuff. I usually don't forget these things, but I also usually don't have a shifter I have to pay attention to. <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. <laughs> and this is going to become a rather long video because I'm talking about all this stuff. And I'm good to go. And that's fifth gear. this annoying habit of going one, two, five. Like I would totally skip third and go straight into fifth and it would cause like major bogging on some trucks. I, I test drove a couple trucks, but like I said, I've never driven one on a regular basis. So I'm kind of getting used to the shift points now. Like I know this engine so well because my Blazer has this identical engine, except it's a different uh, intake mechanism. Intake mechanism, yeah, right. It's a different intake. This one's got the uh, throttle body intake instead of the multi-port fuel injection. Probably a lot of you don't even know what the heck I just said. But anyway. Gee, I got my blinker that time. I'm gonna make this light. I made this light. Yay. I'm going a little too fast. six of these containers this evening and the result <laughs> oh yes it is full to the rim well these guys were <laughs> and now here's more than enough to go around now my intention with these is to do them up and make jelly out of them and put them in jars and then we can have cranberry cranberry they're actually currants they're not cranberries <laughs> they've only got the one seed not multiple seeds like cranberries do anyway uh they will make a pretty darn good cran or, and yet i say it anyway it's gonna make a pretty good currant jelly and I've had it before because my mom makes jellies out of all sorts of different berries. She's done like strawberries, raspberries, strawberry rhubarb, etc, etc. Anyway, she's sent me a little deal on how to do currant jelly. And so I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but that'll be for the next video because this one's already way too long. <laughs> so I just thought I'd show that and show what I spent a lot of time doing for the last three hours. and. Yeah, it's currently camera's being all finicky. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, so I will talk to you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.